Good morning. This is Linda K. And I went to the library and I checked out some books. So this is a library book haul video. And it is Tuesday, March the 2nd, 2021. And it is 10.34 a.m. So, since it's been getting nice out and we don't have snow or ice or, you know, fleeting storms or ice storms, I can start going to the library now. And it's on, if I walk, it takes me about, about 10 to 15 minutes to get to my library from my house. And if I drive, it don't take me about three minutes to get to the library. So here are the books that I got from my local library in my little small town. And my library uses the Evergreen Library, library System. And it's a way for small libraries, small town libraries, to get books from other libraries. And um, you can keep, I mean, you can check out up to 100 books. You can keep them for three weeks with two renewals as long as, you know, somebody else doesn't want the same book. So, I go to the library from March through like November and then during the winter time I read my own books on my shelves. So that's how I do things. Okay, the first one is called Tea Room for Two and it's Tea Room Mystery Series. This is book number one and the author is Susan Page Davis. So that's and hang on, my child wants on my lap, so you get to see my child, maybe. No, I guess not. Oh, and the noise that you hear is my working machine. He's being a little. Stink with this one because one minute he wants on my lap, next minute he does it. So, anyways, so there are, I don't know if it says in here or not, but there is like 19, 17, 18, 19 books in the T Room Mystery series, and these books actually come from guidepost so if you get on the guidepost website and you type in <coughs> tea room mystery then they'll show up but they're like 20 bucks or, or so per book so it's much cheaper to go to the library and I am on I'm on chapter 5 and I'm on page 47. So I will probably get this done by Thursday, probably. That's one book I got from the library. And then another book that I got from the library is called How to Train Your Dragon. This is a book. <coughs> This is book number one in the uh, the how to how to train your dragon series. The author is Cressida Cowell. Here's what it looks like. And I've been wanting to read this for a long time, so now I get to read it. And I'm going to try to read these books in order. And there's quite a few of them already.
And then the next book is called How to Raise an Elephant. And the author <coughs> the author is Alexander McCall Smith. And this is the uh, this is book number twenty one in the L Lady Detective Agency series. So this is book number twenty one, and you know, of course, you know, I don't know how to get book number one because that's how I am. I got start, you know, like in the middle of the series or something. And when I saw this, I I I just had to get it and read it because one I have a story to tell you. We was on our family vacation one one summer and don't ask me where we, we was at, but they were having like a carnival class event going on in the town. And at that time they were offering rides for you know, ride a elephant. So I got on a elephant and I got to ride the elephant and there was like, you know, four or five of us on the elephant. Well to show you where I was sitting at and I was hanging on for their life, I was sitting like right here. Right on the tail end of his back, almost. That's where I was sitting at, and I'm and their skin is really tough, and the skin is tough and kind of hard, but not real hard. So you can take your fingers and grab onto the skin and hang on to it if you had to. My throat is giving me problems. So I was hanging on to the side of him, like right here, on both sides of him. And, and I was praying that I would not fall off. Because there was like five people right here. And then I was the tail end of sitting on the edge of the back of, on the back of an elephant. So ever since then, I fell in love with elephants. And then I got some magazines from my library and their current magazines. Um, I love the National Geographic's Ranger Rick magazine, National Geographic for Kids magazine. I just love the I, I'm. A diehard fan of National Geographic Kids magazines. So, <coughs> although this one comes from National Wildlife Federation, so I'm not sure whether it comes from National Geographic or Nat National Wildlife Federation. But this one is called Ranger Rick, and it's March 2021 issue. And here it is. Just ignore my my buttercup because he's being ornery. And then here was another magazine. I got the my my office window open, and it's you know a little bit windy. Uh, here here are the Better Homes and Gardens magazine, February of 2021 issue. And then here's another Better Homes and Gardens 
magazine and it is or oh, shoot what was it oh January issue so and if they would have had the up-to-date issue of uh, National Geographic for Kids, I would have gotten that. But they haven't got, gotten any since last year. So, I mean since 2019. So, so that is everything I got from the library. And I have three more books that I put on hold at the library and they're supposed to be in transit so I'm just waiting on them to arrive at my library and when I get them from the library I will do another video showing what I got from the library so that is it and you see what my cat is doing I got one note over here and it's open and it's his favorite window to lay in and to talk to his birdie friends and he loved to have that window open he was giving me his look this morning when I was sitting here and I wouldn't open the window so I finally gave in and opened the window the weather is a little bit cold but not extremely cold but cold enough that that my child is kind of like freezing his mother out. But yeah, he loves to sit in that window and walk out. And he will lay in it too. So that is it for today. <laughs> there he goes again. See what I have to put up with for a three-year-old child? So, um, yeah, when I get my other three books in from the library, I will make another video. So I will talk to you all later and have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching, for commenting, and for my new subscribers that have sub subscribed to my channel. Thank you so very much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.